What's up everyone? So I'm a little tired from my uh, trip to Cincinnati and back, but uh, it was well worth it. I'll get into that on another post. So I apologize if I'm a little slow motion on this post, but right here we've got the Air Foam Posit Pro. This is a size 10 and a half in the Volt colorway. There's also a size 10 available. For those of you guys that don't know, uh, the Pro has uh, the swoosh here on the upper, and the sole is uh, quite different from uh, the Foam Posit 1. So that's the difference, or the main differences anyways, from the Pro to the 1. Um, I believe this here on the tongue is also exclusive to the Pro. I might be wrong. Again, I'm a little tired. Um, but anyways, this is the Volt 2021 version. Um, these did come back, come out uh, a while back. And I, I, I don't think I had them back then. Um, I don't recall if they had this texture on it or not. Um, I'm pretty sure they did. And this is just a re-release. But I might be wrong. Um, so to give you a quick little uh, detailed overlook on this shoe. Um, we have basically like almost like a uh a snake skin or reptile type um texture here on this uh leather material here and on the foam material it's just slightly different between the two but they both definitely have a texture on them uh same goes on the on the tongue here and uh and all along the back so um uh and, and like i had said before the the sole is a bit different from the foam posit one um, it doesn't have the big swoosh on it and um, it, it's not potted like these ones here um, so uh, obviously you guys know the foam posit or you should know is the Anthony Penny Hardaway signature shoe and um, this shoe currently retails at $230 and this shoe has always had a high retail on it um, because of the technology and all the research and development they had to do to to design this shoe um, I might be wrong but I want to say the introductory price point on this shoe back in the late 90s I want to say it was about 97 or so um, again I apologize for not having full details here I'm a little bit tired um, but I want to say it was like 180 to maybe $200 back then. And that was extremely high for, uh, shoes at that time. Um, so, you know, these $200 and up price points that we have on shoes on a regular basis now was not a thing back then. And obviously when you, um, translate the value of, of the dollar back then to now, you know, that, that, that might be... I don't know, three hundred and fifty dollars or so, if I were to guess, without looking it up. Um, so it, it, I, I would have to say at least three hundred dollars. Um, so you know, just imagine paying three hundred dollars for a shoe today um, at a retail price point. So you know, just keep that in mind. So this shoe has always had a high price point. Um, it's nice that it's kind of like stayed pretty steady or trickled down a bit because I, I think these at one point did hit up to two fifty. Um, but, uh, you know, it, once you invest all that money to design this shoe and you need to recoup those costs, that's one thing. But they've been around for, you know, 25 years or so now. Um, there's no reason why they couldn't have kind of brought that down. And, and same with, with any other shoe, honestly. You know, the research and development that goes into it to make it. But then, like the Jordan 1. Um, you know, those used to go for around 100, under $100, and now they just continue to go up, up, and up with no new technology. Something that's, you know, been around for 30, what, five years or more? I think it's about 35 years. And they just continue to uh, to bank, bank, bank on it. You know, it's, it's crazy to think that we, me included, um, I continue to do the same thing, but continue to spend these high dollars on these same shoes that um, haven't really made any improvements. But, you know, it's what we do. So, um, again, 
This is the uh, Foam Posit Pro, a Volt colorway. Um, this again is a size 10 and a half. And there is, that's interesting, a little piece of tape straight from Nike. Um, 10 and a half and 10, readily available. So anyone looking for these, got them here local. Make sure to hit me up. I'll be around uh, in the city a little bit later in the week. And as always, um, first come, first serve, send a deposit. Let's make it happen. Everyone have a good night. Peace.